Okay, back here at Turtle Mound for a morning shoot. Hopefully, the sunrise will be beautiful. We do have a lot of clouds, but you never know what's going to show up here. Hopefully, we'll get some beautiful light and get this photograph finally. As I'm heading up here, carrying the eight foot ladder and my tripod, kind of thinking that, nah, probably not going to happen today. It's very, very overcast, but you never know if the clouds are going to clear and the beautiful morning light is going to pop in. But after I got up on the ladder here and looking, not only was it cloudy, but there was also some fog. And I was just giving it a go, just hoping that things would change and that uh, the sun would burst through these clouds. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. Um, but uh, you got to give it a try. <laughs> the next morning, as we're heading down Shipyard Channel, I noticed the beautiful sunrise light ahead of us. And now I was excited. We're finally going to get this picture from the Turtle Mound. And a uh, beautiful full moon in the back, as you can see, over my shoulder. And I got a smile on my face because I'm finally going to get this picture that I've wanted to take for quite a while. The only thing that was difficult is all the no seams. Oh my gosh, there was zero wind, so they were. Uh, they were chewing on us pretty good. As we're pulling up here to Turtle Mound, I can already feel a little bit of adrenaline pumping. Uh, so I just know it's the right morning to take this photograph. So as we approach, I gotta trim the motor up a little bit because it's very shallow, maybe a foot or less. Uh, and we're just gonna pull right up on the beach here and start walking up the Turtle Mound. there yesterday morning and it was cloudy and foggy um, I did discover what view I really wanted to take and it had to be a little bit to the right and trying to clamp the tripod onto the ladder was a little bit cumbersome and I really uh, was struggling uh, to try to get a picture that way so this morning I decided to just hand hold the camera and um, and uh, it just takes a steady hand. Uh, we had enough light to do that, and um, uh, it was just the right way to do it. As I was standing on this ladder, I definitely was a little wobbly up there because if I were to fall over the side here it's still another eight or nine or ten feet down from from where I was so I was a little nervous doing this but, uh, well our second attempt and finally got some beautiful light We've got just enough clouds and the only thing annoying us right now are all the no scenes <laughs> but uh, I'm really looking forward to capturing this image of this beautiful sunrise at Turtle Mound in the Mosquito Lagoon in Canaveral National Seashore Park. Now on the north end of Turtle Mound, there's another view here. This is looking back towards Bethune Beach and let's say the JB's Fish Camp area. Um, and even with this view, you can still see the lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean. There was also some beautiful sable palm trees right in front, which uh, really added to the photograph and the feel that uh, I was trying to capture. And at that point, the you know the light was just beautiful this this day, and uh, so I did actually get two images from this photo shoot. Came over by boat. We live about a mile west of here. Uh, on the Mosquito Lagoon 
in Volusia County. And um, it's just such a beautiful, peaceful place. And uh, here's one of our favorite seafood. That's in the lagoon. Lots of clams and oysters here. In fact, that's what we were photographing from an old Indian shell midden. As we were heading back, we were keeping our eyes out for bottlenose dolphins, uh, which are very common in the Mosquito Lagoon, as well as manatees. Ready? But I think the manatees just started to show back up, so we didn't see any on the way back. But as we're cruising, we're looking for any sign of dolphins uh, in the area. Usually in the morning, they're feeding as a group they live here year-round. The numbers are pretty incredible. Um, there's quite a few of them. And uh, as we're approaching uh, the Intracoastal Waterway, I started to see some dolphins um, on the right-hand side. It looked like they were feeding. So we got a couple views of them coming up here soon. Um, they're probably feeding on mullet, would be my guess but they also love to eat trout, bluefish, or redfish, or anything. Uh, one of the tough things about fishing in the Mosquito Lagoon is if one of these dolphins shows up next to your boat uh, and you're a catch and release fisherman like I am, they will go after every fish that you release um, and they usually get it, but you know, Dolphins got to eat, so they're looking for an opportunity. And after you release that fish, it's a little disoriented, so it's an easy meal for a bottlenose dolphin to catch. So, And there you just saw a couple dolphins pop up right next to the boat. Uh, they will swim in your boat wake if you're going a certain speed, uh, but we're coming into the, the idle zone, so we're, we've slowed down quite a bit here. And, uh, well, here is the finished product, which I'm going to call Turtle Mound 2, because it is my second picture that I've taken from Turtle Mound. So this is a 30 by 60 canvas print of the image that I took. And you can clearly see the Mosquito Lagoon as well as the Atlantic Ocean. And the land's got this beautiful curve to it. And also uh, you can see some of the islands out there in the Mosquito Lagoon. So it was worth the wait. And now I'm going to be stretching that picture on these stretcher bars right here and it will be on the wall tomorrow morning at ring gallery thank you for watching our videos